Do you want to create an awesome beat with just a few clicks? Then look no further than the Produce Beats template in Studio One Six. So right away when you open up Studio One Six, this is what you see. And you just click on New here on the Start page and then select Produce Beats. Give that a name, like Make a Beat. And open it up by clicking OK. Now when you open the template, you get this tutorial here that will guide you through all of the important steps. But I'm also going to guide you through in this video here, so just follow along with me. This template comes with three virtual instruments covering drums, bass line and chord slash arpeggio synthesizers. So this would be already enough to get some kind of an electronic beat, maybe a techno beat going. And um, yeah, let me just show you how easy it is to get started. So here we already have the step sequencer open. And we can hear and audition the different sounds available by simply clicking on them here in the pattern editor. Once we've selected the kick drum, for instance, we can just click here where it says set every fourth step to get a 4-4 kick drum happening right away. And to audition that, you just hit play by hitting the spacebar on your keyboard. Once that beat is playing, you can just add a snare by simply clicking wherever you want to place them. You can also just draw in a couple of hi-hats like that. And you just get off to the races like that. Now one thing I especially enjoy is setting a different step amount for one of the sounds that we have playing in our pattern. You can set different step lengths or step amounts for each of the individual sounds available in the pattern. And to do so, you just click here where it says 16 with a left click on your mouse and change that to, for example, 5. Now you see that this particular sound would now only loop for 5 steps and starting over, while everything else keeps playing 16 steps and playing over. So basically, this sound will always play at a different point in time with everything else. And this can create some incredibly interesting polyrhythms, for instance. So let's just try this and set a step here on step number 3. I just gave that step an accent by holding down command on a Mac or control on Windows. So you can hear it more clearly. And that already gets so much more life into the beat, right? Now we can click here on the automation lane panel and adjust, for example, the probability that this percussion hit here is actually playing to maybe 50% or something like that. Now you can't predict anymore at what point this starts happening. And you immediately get tons of variation in your pattern. Another really cool thing we can do is adjust the amount of re-triggers per step. So we could once again select this stick percussion here and then go to the repeat panel right here. If I set that to one, for instance, then this 16th node would re-trigger once again within the 16th note. So you can also get really glitchy with that. Can be great for trap hi-hats, for instance. Let's just see what this would sound like. And then it's just great to add a couple of steps randomly by just clicking around. You'd be surprised how great that starts sounding. Let's add a bass line to that, shall we? To add a bass line, all we need to do is just select the track right underneath the drum pattern here from the track list, this yellow one labeled bass line. And you can see already the step sequencer opens up for us to get started right away. So I hit play, the pattern starts playing immediately. And now I just search a good octave to add some kind of bass line. This is just trial and error. It's all this. And of course, we can once again work with probabilities. So 
So as you can see, the pattern mode and the produce beat template make it super easy to get started making beats in Studio One right away. Of course, you can swap out any of the presets, the sounds that you've heard with your own favorite ones. The awesome immediate workflow stays the same, which opens up a whole world of possibilities for you.